Hey guys, just wanted to show you our little flock here. Um, this is our rooster, Ezekiel. Uh, we're in a residential neighborhood here, so uh, we simply put a rooster collar on him, quiets him down by 90%. Uh, luckily, we have good neighbors, and you know, nobody complains. We try to keep things clean so it doesn't smell, stuff like that. Uh, Zeke's about what, a little over a year probably like 15 months uh, they tend to start getting aggressive at this age so I'm kind of happy he's being nice at the moment um, we rotate roosters we get a couple hatched out every year we get a new rooster just about every year uh, simply because they become aggressive uh, Jenny nannies for a living uh, a few days a week so she has the kids over here and can't have these roosters jumping on them kids so uh, it's one thing if they snag my leg once in a while but little kids not gonna happen so uh, we have a good mix uh, every couple years like I said or every year we get a few different styles we have reds we have uh, buffs we have a few ices mixed in that we were gifted this spring uh, we hatched out uh, Zeke is actually hatched out with one of the buffs uh, from our own chickens last year which was a fun experience uh, we have three here uh, this is one of our new roosters we hatched out this spring, Cooper. Um, he's getting of age here where he's going to start getting into trouble. Uh, we got back there, uh, Raven. She's a little smaller, mixed breed. And then we have JT here we got this spring. She's a Jersey Giant. She's getting big and laying us some good, nice eggs already. She's only seven months, whereas the other ones are, I think, four months old. So... Anywho, got some golden wyan dots. Uh, got a few older chickens here. There's Mabel. I believe she's a mix between a uh, Buff Orpington and a row, not a, a rock. I think yeah. Uh, anyway, so I just thought I'd show you these guys. I really enjoy watching them. They have pretty good life here in our little residential lot. So they're getting upset about something. Probably me or a bird flew over. So. Having a rooster is actually a really good uh, experiment we've done. The first few years we didn't have a rooster, and uh, they really help the flock, I think. Uh, if you can deal with a little bit of crowing, and like I said, he's got a collar on, so he's pretty quiet. Um, he takes good care of his ladies. I mean, he shows them food. He keeps an eye out for predators. We have a lot of hawks in the area. Um, we've fortunately not lost one to a hawk yet, but... You know, we, we're out here a lot when they're free-ranging during the day. So we try to keep a, a close eye on them. So yeah, there he is. Like I said, he's quieted down quite a bit with that collar. So um, if any of you guys need collars, we didn't we didn't spend money on the collar. We just went and got inch and a half thick uh, Velcro from uh, Joanne Fabric. You know, a couple bucks rather than 20, 30 bucks on a a collar and like I said same thing doesn't seem to bother him it bothers them initially they takes them a day or two to get used to it but after that they're good to go so anywho just want to give you a little chicken update uh, this is year five or six like I said it's fun it's a lot of work you do have some health issues here and there with chickens so you got to get used to that but other than that really good experience uh, I think we have close to 30 with 28 or 29 chickens right now that's kind of our break-even point where they pay for themselves by selling eggs um, you know we eat four eggs a day two eggs a piece for each of us there's Jenny uh, dumping all our baskets into the garden so we'll try to get her on a few videos she's a little shy so <laughs> uh, anywho have a good day guys